Nimaidong ama atong morotarang. Welcome to Atong Spelling Lesson 12. Only one consonant is enough in the middle of roots with more than one syllable. In this video, we will learn how to count syllables in roots, that roots with more than one syllable can often be pronounced in different ways, and the reasons why it is not necessary to write double consonants in the middle of roots with more than one syllable. Here are some examples of the double consonants we will be talking about. Let's first refresh our memory. We are talking about roots. They have two important properties. A root cannot be divided into smaller meaningful parts. Roots are meaningful parts on their own. And a root can be used on its own as a word in a sentence. Remember that bound parts cannot be used on their own as words in a sentence, but need to be stuck to a root. In the sentence, Ang minokchi mai saak, you can see the roots in green and the bound parts in gold color. As you can see, all the bound parts are stuck to a root. The root mai is used on its own as a word, without any bound parts stuck to it. If we take away the roots from the bound parts, you get this, mi, chi, mai, ak. As you can see, bound parts on their own make no sense. This sentence is incorrect. Roots can be combined to make longer words called compounds. Here we see a compound, nokban taichina. Can you tell me what the roots are in this word and what the bound parts are? There are two roots, nop and bantai. Together they form a compound. The bound parts are chi and na. What can we say about roots and syllables? In Atong, a root can only be pronounced when it has at least one vowel. As you know, there are six vowels in Atong. A, E, I, O, U and E. Pay attention, in the combinations e, we, oi and i, the letter e does not make an extra syllable. In these combinations, the letter e actually represents the consonant sound y. We will soon see an example of how this works. So, a word like nk cannot be pronounced properly in Atong, but the word nok with the vowel o can be pronounced. This word has one vowel and it has one syllable. M is not a word in Atong, but the word ama is. It has two vowels and two syllables. We cannot pronounce something like k, but k is a good word in Atong. As we just learned, in the combination e, the letter e does not make an extra syllable. This word has only one syllable. Here we see some more examples of roots with one syllable. Nok, i, as in the words itakei and ichi, tau, as in the word taubo, tei, and ang. You see that the smallest root, i, is just one vowel. Here we see some examples of roots with more than one syllable. Paleng, aset, as in the word asetbo. Bugarek, Gumuk, and Zabek. Let's do a little exercise. It would be good to have a pen or pencil and a piece of paper ready. Exercise 1. Vowels and syllables. In the table below, you see six words. The questions are, what are the vowels in these words? And how many syllables does each word have? Pause the video Copy the table with the words onto your paper and write your answers in the table. Now pause this video. Exercise Jammok Let's look at the solutions. Remember to pronounce all the names of the letters in Atong and not in English. The vowels in the word Kansrui are A, E and the combination Ui. The word has three syllables. 
Remember that the vowel letter i in the combination ui does not create an extra syllable. The word song has one vowel, namely o, and has one syllable. The word bugarek has the vowels u, e, and e, and has three syllables. The word reing has two vowels, namely two letters e, and the word has two syllables. The vowels in the word asantalak are a, e, and a, and again a. The word has four syllables. Finally, in the word jabek, we find the vowels a and e. The word has two syllables. We can see that the number of syllables in a root is the same as the number of vowels, except that the letter e in the combinations e, ui, oi, and i does not make an extra syllable. Examples of roots with these combinations are te, gandrui, chokhoi, galdai. Let's now look in some more detail at roots with more than one syllable. Often, when we use words with more than one syllable, different pronunciations are possible. Pause the video and take a good look at this list. How do you pronounce these words? Do your friends always pronounce them in the same way? Maybe you have discovered that not everybody pronounces these words in the same way all the time. Let's focus on the pronunciation of the consonants. With words like this, two pronunciations are possible, with a long or short consonant. Atong ma atong, betum ma betum, datang ma datang, belak ma belak, apun ma apun, etc. In the spelling, however, we only need to write one consonant. We will see the reasons why. There are two reasons why it is only necessary to write one consonant in roots with more than one syllable, like the ones we just pronounced. The first reason is the existence of a general rule in Atong pronunciation. A consonant between two vowels can be pronounced long or short without a change in the meaning of the word. This rule also applies when two different meaningful parts meet, as we have seen in lesson 8. The words in the list here can all be pronounced in two ways, with a long or short consonant. Jamok, jamok, rakka, rakka, sapok, sapok. The wa, the wa, betiri, betiri, atong, atong, betum, betum, dachang, dachang, maki, maki, kopalak, kopalak. The other reason to write only one consonant in roots with more than one syllable is this. Roots cannot be split up into smaller meaningful parts. If you write two consonants, it looks like two meaningful parts meet, which is not true. The word atong is not a combination of at and tong. It is one meaningful part with two possible pronunciations. Betum is not but plus um, and dachang is not a combination of dat plus chang. They are all roots, single meaningful parts but with different pronunciations. So remember, when you want to write words like these, roots are one meaningful part, so only write one consonant in the middle, but different pronunciations are possible. Those are the reasons why we write only one consonant in the middle of roots with more than one syllable, like the ones in this list and many others. We use the spelling with double consonants when two meaningful parts in a word meet, one ending in a consonant and the next one starting with the same consonant. Like for example the words rekun, tokereng, nekatuk, hntnetriwa, duwa. Now let's do an exercise to see what you have remembered. As usual, please get a pen or pencil and some paper ready. Exercise 2. 
one consonant or two. You will see and hear sentences with a blank line in them. Under the sentences, you will see pairs of words. Choose the word with the correct spelling to put on the blank line. For example, you will see and hear the sentence Maksurandai sa'aymung, chakchi, blank line, bang arya. And below the sentence, two different spellings of the word betem. Choose the correct word to put on the blank line. The correct spelling is of course number two, betem with one letter ta. You get 10 seconds for each sentence and 6 seconds to look at the solutions, so pause the video when necessary. There are 11 sentences in this exercise. Are you ready? Here we go! Sentence 1 Dakang do mamung toromao niwamishomachi do wayao mania. Solution Sentence 2 Aman ang natani na tung madawa Jabi kan tawag te Solution Sentence 3 Ang do dabat wariyao patchawa Toy chung duga ate Solution Sentence 4 Yesiti chi a pap duama duancha Solution Sentence 5 Reingwa chi no kapao ne maite bo Solution Sentence 6 We gawichi eh Sa mung krogang naro Aro tihim pi pukchi ka nang kwa mung sa Solution Sentence 7 Gari beng blokal de plengok Solution Sentence 8 Palwara kai mung te do panok gurum srangok Solution Sentence 9 Faltan kan ga bagu o awan awan de singba ichi de kemchi benok noro Solution Sentence 10 Mingman do a chidam bi da kang mi ites do utugi sabala Solution Sentence 11 Ang chabi pidana bi chiba tagalok Solution Exercise Jamok In this video, we have learned why one consonant is enough to write in the middle of roots with more than one syllable. Pronunciation with a short or long consonant are both possible and correct. A general pronunciation rule takes care of that. The rule says that a consonant between two vowels can be pronounced long or short, also when two meaningful parts meet. We use double consonants only when two meaningful parts meet, one ending in a consonant and the other starting with the same consonant. 
Roots cannot be split up into more meaningful parts. Within a root, two meaningful parts never meet. Therefore, we do not write double consonants. In the next video, we will learn about the structure of roots like Picham and Diping. They have ancient meaningful parts hidden in them that you may not know. When you know what these parts are, it makes words with these roots easy to spell. Chinigabak kamjamok, chaigaba aumetela, sengabaganang chido, ma atongba balna sikchido, i pidio cha machiga nangaba saigaba hapchi sayaribo, i pidio wa nemnukai mung, like button chi sikta bo, walnam.